It's week 11 of the National Football League. And this one features Tank Dale. He's going to be a busy man in the passing game. It's the Bills and the Chiefs, and it comes your way next. All right, no table is safe outside of Highmark Stadium because this crowd is loud and this crowd is ready for a ball game. We're just outside of Buffalo in Orchard Park, New York. Joined by a former NFL quarterback off in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, Either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over him for big yardage, and maybe six points, too. Cairo Santos out for the opening kick. And off we go from Highmark Stadium. That's going to be taken in at the eight. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. Two numbers that a lot of people were focused on from his performance last week. That would be three and zero, as in touchdowns and interceptions. That's a quarterback who was efficient, aggressive in the right spots, but he took great care of the football. And of course, well, he cares less about those two numbers. He's more about the alphabet, like that letter W, picking up the win in that ball game. There's no routes on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. Alex Anzalone there on the stop. Here we go, third and less than a yard. They give to Gibbs on the option. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. That is your old-school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Ball on the 45, first and 10. From the shotgun, Carr. And he's not quite that fast. Let him just a bit too much. That's incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And now it's second down. Back to the air. Carr. Hopkinson reels it in. And he's a yard or two shy of the 30 before going out. Offense already looking like they're in mid-game form. They've got it down to the 32. Carr with it on first. Throwing all the way to the end zone here. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. That's Diamador Lenore. And the Chiefs are going to have it after his second interception of the season. So the first drive of the game ends not in points, Brock, but in an INT. And I get it. Opening drives aren't always going to end up with points or a touchdown. Good thing, though, there's a lot of opportunities left to make up for that miscue and go get yourself back in rhythm and back on script. So here are the Chiefs out on offense for their first drive. And bringing them out, a fourth-year quarterback and capable dual-threat producer from Ohio State, Justin Fields. There's still lots of people around the NFL that believe that Justin Fields' best football's in front of a major believers of him as an upper-tier quarterback. And the reason why, Kate, is he's got physical traits that are just unique and different. He can run it like a running back, and he can spin a football as well. In fact, that running ability is some of the best in the game. But just continuing to build and refine his game as a passer between the tackles, that will be the key to the longevity of his career. Quite the start to that drive, huh? The first place sets him up now at the 38. Here's the first game to Gus Edwards. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. Brought to the ground by Kaiser White. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Man in motion, out of the slot. Here we go, second and nine. 
complete. It's born. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. You know, Kate, it's almost as if the defense invited him to make that throw. That was a play they knew they could defend, and they stopped it right at the line. Fields on third. Escapes the pocket. He's running for it. The big play nets him 17 yards. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Running behind center with Edwards. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. I know that may look like a whole lot of nothing burger on the stat sheet, but those are the kind of plays that inside run that you see creative play action come off of later in the game. It was contained at the line for no gain. The play brought to an end by Logan Wilson. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Out of the shotgun, Fields. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. First time this game they've looked to him. So they're left facing a fourth down. Kansas City sends out its punt team. And this will bring a drive that had some promise to a disappointing end. Coming off a busy week, five punts in the loss, and he sends this one away. And this one ventures out of play on the fly. The question is where it's marked. Looks like they'll say the 17-yard line. They're out and set, first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Straight ahead with Gibbs. And his drive forward halted after a couple of yards. Eric Kendricks there for the tackle. A less than ideal third and eight here. Working out of the gun, it's Carr. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. The Chiefs are headed back out there now, led by Justin Fields. And he's been more than just his work as a passer this season. Look at this. He's gotten the job done on the ground as well, second among NFL quarterbacks in rushing yards. Here's a given sign to Edwards. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. Second down now, seven to go. He'll try left side out of the option. And defenders are there to get him at the line. Give that tackle to Johnny Newton. All right, it's a nickel set for the Bills. Third down. Now movement as somebody goes early. And for the first time today, we're going to hear from our officials. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. Backed up now after the penalty. It's third down. Fields out of the gun. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Bryce Barringer on now to punt. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And he'll have this fair catch right along the 25. So no return on that punt. And the Bills will take over possession. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. By this point, partner, they are through that opening script, through trying to establish their offense, and yet still no points. Thinking it might be time to start uh, switching things up a little bit, tear up the old game plan and start fresh. Well, I promise you that's what's buzzing on the heads. This is brought in at the 15. 
and he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Look at the touch he put on that throw down the field. That was a masterpiece. He was the artist behind it, laying it in the perfect spot to create the big play. So a massive gain, and all of a sudden, we've got first and ten inside the red zone. Working inside the red zone. This throw is cut. And this is down all the way to the three. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, you can scratch that one from the playbook, and you're not going to call it again if you can't impact the tackle. You just saw him sit right there. He was ready for a feast, and he buried that draw before it could get started. Off the gut they go with Gibbs. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. He gets a chunk of four yards, leaving them just a yard from the end zone. Third and goal. Gibbs. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. It's after plays like these, Kate, I love to study the body language. What is that offense doing after getting stuffed inside on a run like that? And more importantly, how much does it energize that defense? Out is Graham Gano to try to knock this through. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to get them on the scoreboard. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Darius Davis to return it. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Chiefs offense set to take over again. And they're hoping they can keep the punter off the field this time around, Brock, after he's been called upon each of their first two possessions. They'll go from the gun with Edwards. And the power play up the gun only results in two yards. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. And he's not going to get something done. They take him down. So that's how our first half's going to end. A momentum-building play for their defense. About set for the second quarter. Chiefs football here. They'll need something big here to start out. It's third and long. Buys time, rolling right. And he's going to be out of bounds just before reaching the 30. Well, that's an excellent job by the defense. All eyes on the quarterback. When you're playing a quarterback that can escape, or well, even though you cover, you still got to cover down and go chase that QB out of bounds before he could get the first down. Another punt coming up. Bryce Barringer to do the honors again. Khalif Raymond set to return. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. Takes it in at the 26. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. The Bills and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work. Here's first and 10 from the 34. And he has him a small chunk of yards up to the 42. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. Car off the play fake. That's caught. Here comes Jameer Gibbs. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. here from the gun can't connect over the middle it's incomplete 
No luck finding his receiver that time. So it's second down coming up. Carr setting the throw. He puts some power on a deep one left. Really pushing the envelope on second down, but the deep shot doesn't work. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Throwing again, it's Carr. Rolling into enemy territory. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes, they so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle, force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. So this one sails over the sideline, and they'll spot it where a touchback would go at the 20-yard line. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Edwards on the shotgun handoff. He gets it ahead, winds up with about three. That was Xavier McKinney that time with the tackle. Second down now, seven to go. Sticking with Edwards here. Runs into traffic and hits a wall, no gain. B.J. Hill, the one to bring him down. Looks like no gain on second down, and that leads us to third and six. Slot man motioned over. Throw on third down. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he's going to run for it. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. I mean, I don't ever want to be a defensive coordinator. They do so many things right to take away the pass. And then what happens? Well, you get a quarterback that lowers his head, gashes the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. You take away the pass, but you can't stop the QB run. Finds his man. It's Alvin Ross St. Brown. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. All set up now for first and 10. Here's Edwards on the carry. And with a nice skein, he runs him down inside a field goal range. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. Oh, look at this. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Any tackle for loss hurts, Kate, but they hurt that much more from a defensive back. Those guys typically are better in coverage, and you've got to find a way to make a miss in the backfield. Fields now on third. Got a man. It's Thomas. All you can do is shake your head sometimes. Sure, the pass play works, but they come up just an inch or two short for the first down. Only need the length of the football. It's fourth and inches. They do snap it. Here's Fields. He can't get away. They get the sack and force a turnover on down. Well, this play never had a chance between the pressure at home and the coverage downfield. Kippy's still got to find a way to throw it up and give somebody an opportunity to make a play. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. They're on a three-game winning streak, Brock, and working to stretch that out to four. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Throwing his car. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, he falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Car back to throw. Got a man. Robinson has it. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's good for a Bills first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. 
Carr now on first and ten. Doesn't make the connection. Not an open passing lane to be found anywhere. He took what he thought was the best one available, and they still managed to tip the ball away. They've got a man in motion. Second and ten. Here's Carr. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. From the shotgun, Carr. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. The Kansas City offense back out there and set to go. They liked how that drive was going. But the ND and the turnover on downs, yeah, that's something they'll try to rewrite on this series. Makes the grab in bounds left side. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. Short side option here. He's running left. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cape, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. So they're left facing third and long. Shotgun snap to Fields. Complete beyond the marker. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. What a play on third and 13. And this drive will indeed continue. From the red zone now. Ball finds his running back, Gus Edwards. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. It's the two-minute warning now from Highmark. The Chiefs trying to make some noise before halftime. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They'll empty the backfield and motion him out. Another throw for Fields. Throw wheeled in by Thomas. Hey, I know it's tough to evaluate when you're playing at game speed when there's chaos all around you. But if he looked around, I'm not sure that's a throw he would make again. Even one of the biggest targets, big old tight end, couldn't fight back to the line of scrimmage. Here he is on third and long. That's Thomas. He's got it. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. Will pause for the injured player. And oof, not who you want to see banged up. It's Michael Thomas who's hurt. And we've seen him miss some time before. Hopefully that's not the case here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it'll knock this game up late in the second quarter. Anytime you start sniffing that red zone and you don't score six, you only come away with three points. Not what you were looking for on the call sheet. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Possession switching back to Buffalo as their offense heads out. Well, their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. Throwing on first down, it's Carr. He's throwing deep to the left. That's complete inside the 35-yard line. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. 
One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar gun. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of throw when you throw it that deep outside the numbers that requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Gibbs runs it in. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills get some late points and the lead. It's a Jameer Gibbs touchdown. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Gano ends the point after. And the Bills break that tie and now lead by seven. Dixon to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Davis. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The Chiefs take it over now, real late in this opening half. And we're a shade away from 50 seconds to go in the half. That's enough time to put something together. Fields on first down. Throw complete to Sinnott. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Before we can get a snap on second down, they call timeout. From the 38. Brought in by Hollins. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. First down throw for Fields. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Fields out of the gun. Completed to Davis. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. They'll get 31 yards on the play. And it'll be first down Kansas City. A final throw before the break. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. It's halftime here in Buffalo. The Bills with the lead after two. Now it's down to Florida where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here. And what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly, where it was our visitors who were able to walk away with the road victory. Jordan Love leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Minnesota Vikings. J.J. McCarthy leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. In the first half, it was the Alabama man, Jameer Gibbs, who had it cooking. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Both these teams making their way out of the tunnel, and we're ready for the second half. And for the call, we send it back to Kate Scott and the other one. Now is Dixon to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Davis. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. Out comes Kansas City. Its offense has it first to start quarter number three. And their defense sure has kept this game close. Now it's time for them to come through, get some points for their team in this low-scoring affair. It's Edwards on the carry. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning. 
like a piston in an engine, and that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field, but in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Throwing again on second down. Fields. And they get to him again. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. These quarterbacks are so good with their clock in their head between the tackles. But you get outside the pocket, and you've got to have that same ability. If you hesitate for a second, the defenses with their speed at this level, they'll find a way to bring you to the ground. Try and get it into Amon Ross St. Brown. So that brings up fourth and long. The Chiefs bringing out their punt team. Bryce Barringer, the one that sent it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. Takes it in at the 21. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The Bills are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Carr setting the throw. Into the hands of Michael Wilson. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Working out of the gun, it's Carr. Connection made to Dell. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. I love everything about that play, Kate, so much for a quarterback. When you're throwing that crossing round, it's imperative that you lead that receiver. You don't throw where he's at, you throw where he's going. And when you do, yards after catch follow. That last shot took him right down to the front of the red zone. Here's first down. Working inside the red zone, into the hands of Gibbs. And he goes out, approaching that 10-yard line. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. It sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. A nice gain of eight there, and that brings them to first and goal. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. Scores! Touchdown, Buffalo! The Bills push their lead further to start the half. Well, we all knew what was coming when they got into that goal line formation, didn't we, Brock? And they just pound the rock in for an old school touchdown. I just sometimes love that stuff. Nothing yep. fancy, nothing cute. Here's our formation. You know we're running right at you. And we challenge you to stop us, and you can't. Gano for the PAT. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Rams double their lead to 14. On now is Dixon to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Davis. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Chiefs offense out to take over. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the puncher, Brock. They're hopefully going to give them some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Now Edwards. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back sorry. We did not give you any chance. Slot man in motion left. On the ground, it's Edwards again. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. Still third down. 
Even with the assist from that defense, still third down here. Out of the shotgun, Fields. And they can't connect on the third down deep shot. Love the courage they had to try it, but it's incomplete, and now we've got fourth down. On now comes their punter. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. Fair catch calling for, and he's got it right near the 30-yard line. The Bills are headed back to the field on offense. So we get a look at Tank Dell. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They go play action with Carr. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, he falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Enough to Gibbs from the gun. He gets forward, and that's about four yards. Zayvon Collins in on the tackle. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite out of the big meal between them and the first down marker, and that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. This is complete to Gibbs. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. Fair catch, hauled in at the 18-yard line. That punt goes unanswered, no return there. And the Chiefs will get set to go on offense. They're out and set, first and ten. Back to throw. Here's Fields. It's complete to Holland. Gets it ahead. Has about five yards. Legereus Sneed there for the stop. All right, here we go. Second down. From the 24. This is reeled in by Edwards. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. All plays on the table here for third and three. It's a handoff here to Edwards. And he couldn't do a whole lot there. Minimal yardage picked off to the 27. It's a gain of only one yard. That's going to leave him with a fourth and two. Kansas City sends out its punt team. And this is the fifth time he's been called upon today. His work begins at the 31. And it ends up a good return for him. Up past their own 40. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Car now on first and ten. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. That pass, it did put him in a position where he had to shake a defender. That's all you want. Give me a one-on-one. -on -one. And he is capable of doing it, but not against that dude. Uh-uh. That defender could not be shook. And he knocked him back across the line. Completed over the middle. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. Extra man in the secondary now for the Chiefs on third down. From the shotgun, Carr. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically. But I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. Carr with it on first. Able to find Hawkinson. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. 
Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. And it's incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down. You know, Kate, my years in Indianapolis with Peyton, he loved to know the tendencies of a defense. And third and short, more often than not, all across the league, you get man-to-man -man coverage. It really is a good time to throw. Unfortunately, couldn't execute that pass in a fourth down since then. That's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two-for-two two for this kicker. On now is Dixon to kick this one away. Tyler Scott now to return it. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Kansas City offense set to take the field. And this certainly isn't the rut they want to be in, Brock. All of their drives have been ending in punts as of late. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. They'll send him over right. Oh, look at this. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. The play brought to an end by Logan Wilson. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Shotgun snap to Fields. Got a man. It's Thomas. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. One of the tight ends motioning right. They just get the playoff. Flushed out of the pocket. Now here he goes. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. It's just one quarter remaining in this one. It's not quite over yet, but it'd take a pretty miraculous comeback. We've got a three-score game as we get set to start the fourth quarter. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. They'll motion him out of the backfield. On first and ten, it's Fields. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And it's going to be second down. Here's Fields to throw. Looking. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. The challenge with so many sacks is it just disrupts everything in the rhythm and timing of your offense. All of these negative plays. Hey, this league and this game is hard enough when you're on schedule. All of these sacks set you behind the chains. Well, you've seen how disruptive it is for this offense. Well, this will actively age a coach on the sidelines. Wrinkles and gray hair, all of it. All the planning, a great play. And careful execution led to that. And it was dropped to the turf. Complete out to the right side. That'll be a 20-yard hit on fourth down, Brock, and it keeps this drive moving. Oh, so close to getting off the field. But the fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. But now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. Ball at the 33 for first down. They send a tight end in motion. First down throw for Fields. Finds him over the middle. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. An early jump of the flags come in. I think this is going to go against the defense. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Now talk about a golden opportunity at an immediate first down following that encroachment play. They'll run here following the penalty. And he's brought down for a loss. Yeah. 
Second and six coming up here. On the give, this is Edwards. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to leave him with third and three. And off headed right, it's Edwards. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense, forcing a fourth down. Cairo Santos now to try the field goal. It's a 34-yarder from that right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the gap closes to 14 points. This is a case of, well, just get what you can on the way out the door, Kate. It's already out of reach. Just take the three, let your kicker get some points, and make it a hair closer in the box score. Here's Raymond on the return. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The home team's headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Car here from the gun. Oh, it put some heat on this deep ball. Left side. And yeah, that's going to be knocked away incomplete. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? you got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and then more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. He's on the move. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. Third and four coming up now. Car to the air now. He has the first over the middle. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum to keep that defense on its heels. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Throwing on first down. It's Carr. No one open, so he chucks this to another county. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. And this is a nice game. that stopped at the 47. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. Again, it's Gibbs. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. That one gains seven. And that's good for a Bills first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. Going to the ground again on first. And finally, they're able to bring him to the ground. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. Pistol snap to Carr. Hopkinson reels it in. And he's brought down after a short game. Third and a lone yard coming up. Carr off the play fake. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. He was looking for TJ Hawkinson. And that brings up fourth and short. Now a run by Sanders. By a man, and now he's in the clear. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. A lot of times we will see defenses get so overcommitted to defending that inside run, vulnerable to the outside toss. And that's when things open up, and you can reset those downs. They'll come up first and ten. Straight ahead with Gibbs. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. From the 
from the 23. Called in left side. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Gibbs now from the gun. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. That's one of those plays, Kate, as an offense, it just sticks with you a little bit. It bothers you that you just can't convert on a very manageable down and distance. And on the other side, well, sure gives you some confidence defensively to get off the field. Running for it. Here's Gibbs. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Come on now. Was there any doubt who they were going to go to right there? That was always going to be a run play. No problem converting on fourth. We've hit the two-minute warning here in Buffalo. Bills close to picking up their fifth win. Here's a counter game to Gibbs. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. So quickly the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. Offense to the line for second down. Another one for Gibbs. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Now one of the Chiefs in some pain out there. So we're going to get a stoppage here as he's helped by the trainers. Got to figure out this third down here. They give to Gibbs on the option. And he got what he could there, only to the 14. The Chiefs will use their third and final timeout. For the third time today, we see them setting up for a field goal. From the left hash, about 31 yards out. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that makes this a three-score game. We got ourselves a three-score game now after that make. It's got to feel like it's going to just about do it with any hopes of a comeback still smoldering. I think these kickers enjoy those opportunities, Kate, to be the one to kick this lead out of range. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. Mm, after that return, he's looking pretty banged up out there. We're going to have a stoppage as team personnel comes out to look at him. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Out of the shotgun, Fields. That's Thomas, he's got it. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Fields on first down. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Almost a completion of the wrong team there. So now it's going to be third and long. Another throw for Fields. Fits it through the middle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Pass taken in by St. Brown. And he's going to be out of bounds right along the 20. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Fields out of the gun. And he just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Fields throwing here. Throw right side, caught by Thomas. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. Fields looking to throw. And he rips this one out and over the back of the end zone, incomplete. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Fields to throw it. Pocket isn't holding up, they're able to drop him. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. So it's the Bills who come away with the win. This winning streak to three as they have really caught fire recently.
This has been another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. With all our crew here and my broadcast partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. It's a win for the Bills, as we say so long from Buffalo.